hey how's it going beautiful people in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how to create a beautiful post grid like that on your website front page or home page or anywhere you want on your website in order to keep visitors engaged on your website by showing them the most recent post in a beautiful manner now if you head over to the mmsexperience.com and you really scroll down you'll realize that every single time i publish a new post the the latest post will appear here and visitors don't necessarily have to go on the blog or visit different pages to find the latest post it's already right there on the home page and i am going to show you step by step how to actually do that now when if you actually go to one two three four until 16 you will display all the posts every single time you click on the next page that i have already written about suppose the benefits of doing that on any of the page or maybe uh, on your home page is because every single time someone will click on the, the next section to access the next set of posts and then they scroll down if you have ads running like this one not only they will meet this ad two times which means more money but then they scroll down and they can access the other posts on the second page so how do you implement something like that there is a very specific plugin that you need let's go step by step and showing you how to set that up on this other website that i have so if i refresh this website called dsofttouch.com and i scroll down you see you don't have anything right here right now and but th this website actually has some template blog post written and i want to display these blog posts on the website front page how do you do that you go on the plugin in the back end of your website and you click on the plugin you tap add new And then right here you search for you search for post creeds. Scroll down and you make sure that this is the one you want. Post grid by pick plugin. It is extremely easy to create any post type grid and display anywhere on your website on any page. You make sure you install and you activate. There are alternatives that are harder to understand and that are not as good, but I am just going to show you step by step how to customize using this plugin however you want, using and make your website look as beautiful as the msexperience.com. Now, once you've installed and activated on the left hand side, you will see this post grid. You first want to make sure that you go under post all post grid you will realize that you don't have any post grid right now created now you have to manually create one it doesn't come with a template so to do that you click on add new and you give for example a reference for example home page post grid and here are the settings. The settings are simple, but then there is it's very important to follow step by step what I'm going to show you. On the general, make sure that lazy enable lazy load is yes, meaning that it will only load on your website when users scroll down and get to that specific spot. That's when the actual post grid will load. So that makes your website faster because it doesn't have to load until the user gets to that spot and then you scroll down you make sure that load font out some is yes you don't have to touch anything else okay the text align you want to make sure that is center if you want to select left right play around with the settings but some of the default settings are the best the background color if you want to change that you can change you can put whatever color click on select color select whatever background color you want but leave it as default now on the query post query post it's only apply applicable to post so all the posts that you have will be displayed in the grid if you want to select pages you select pages 
the post statues all the posts that are published are the one that you have to display don't select any other things don't select pending post or like post in the trash now you can post query order by date meaning from the most recent one to the least recent one if you want to choose modify date meaning that it will be from the latest modified post to the uh, least modified post on the layout you will have this empty layout which will be the only layout available now you will probably need to create a layout at some point because this layout that you see right there it's a customized layout okay so you need to create a specific layout but before we create a specific layout let's go ahead with other settings on the grid settings you can't change much here just leave it that way item style also leave it at auto height auto height auto height it will automatically adjust for desktop tablet and mobile now the you can also play around with the color if you want to change the item background color but don't amazon restyle okay you, you want to make sure that you leave this as yes because this style that you see right here is amazon restyle okay it will display the post reader in amazon re mode after you're done the pagination you can play around but you don't have to because this just means that this is how it will look like if you don't want this text like next or previous right here you can change this right here you can say before and then you can instead of next you can put after you can change the font size from 16 to 18 the color size whatever you want but you don't have to once you're done you click on publish come here on the short code short code this is the short code that you want to copy now you can put it anywhere you want on your website and here is how it works you need to go for example on my guy on my case it's on the home page so i'm just going to go on the home page of this website you scroll down wherever you want to put that type here on short code you drag that wherever you want to put that if it's below here or at the bottom so i'm just going to i'm just going to put it at the bottom right here and I'm going to paste the short code here. This is how it would look like. See how ugly right now it looks like? I'm going to also come back here and put a heading call. Put that as an H1, come back on style. Maybe change the typography by increasing the size a little bit. Uh, choosing the color to be blue. and we're going to come back on the contents put that as center and first we are going to first update if i go back on the home page and i refresh if i scroll down this is how it looks like okay recent post this is just the text with the title there's no picture whatsoever just a simple text title uh, clickable title now it has the one two three if I click on the second then I can access the post on the second page and so on and so forth so I'm just gonna see how previous next and so on now how do you make it more pleasing okay with the thumbnail with a beautiful thumbnail like this one now that's the next step this is where you need to create layout remember in the setups right here in the layout I showed you I told you that it comes with an empty layout that doesn't have anything but this is so customizable because you can actually create a specific layout of your choice now if you click on create layout or you go on the left hand side and you click here all layout you can actually select for example type for example layout home page layout home page and the layout right now is empty but you can actually you first tap here on general but these are all the elements that you need to create a layout of your choice i am going to show you how this one this thing will look this will look a lot better after a few edit first i need a thumbnail how do i do it i'm designing a specific layout which is i first want the thumbnail with the link and then I want the title.
title with the link and then I want some post excerpt which is what you see here you have the post thumbnail with the link you have the title with the link of the post and you have now excerpt with some character okay which actually when people start reading it, it can get them interested to the post and they, they can click first you want to make sure that you click here and here the size of the thumbnail is large and none you click you want the link to be the post link so that every time someone clicks on this thumbnail it gets them to the post of interest okay. you can change the the size from large to medium to thumbnail whatever you want I'm just gonna select medium large now on the post title will link also make sure that link to select post link okay you can change the size of the title right there if you want you can put 17 or 18 it depends on what you want and you can change the the font family too if you know for example you want Lato or the default you leave it default and now the post excerpt excerpt source you want to make sure you select content okay content or excerpt first then content now the limit of the word you want to make sure you leave around like 20 to 25 because if you look at it if you want to put a lot more then this is only a few character which will get the reader interest for example I say this is a list of blah 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 I have tried and then the reader gets interested and then they click on the title to read more so I'm just gonna do those three and I'm gonna click on publish and then I'm going to go back on the all post I'm gonna edit on the layouts now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna select layout home page this one instead of empty layout and I'm going to click on update so now if I go back on this home page and I click instead of this if I refresh the results are in now that's what you have you have the post thumbnail medium large size you have the title and then you have an excerpt okay about 25 character now you can increase the number of character for example from 25 to about let's say 35 now if I hit on date see now you have a lot more character that I display to attract the reader see you have something that will display your most recent post people will click on second and third now you can reduce the number of posts to actually make people stay longer on your website for example if you go back on the edit post grade edit the post grade if you scroll down this query you can um, reduce the number of posts per page maybe six only six posts per page and then you click on uh, update and also what I want to do what I will do is that I'll actually increase the post title size instead of 19 I am going to go uh, 24 right now what do you have on the recent post you have one two three four five six and then people will now click on second third fourth and then access the same page to see other posts one thing that you're realizing why do you think the size of the post are not aligned it's because the size of the thumbnails that you selected for your post are in the same size so that's why it's moving some posts below others look at my post you will realize that they are all aligned because I am creating custom sized posts like all my thumbnails have the same size and they are customized by me on this side I have not because this is like a template site uh, like I was supposed to write a bunch of blog posts on it but I got lazy and so I have not really like created proper thumbnails but essentially if I open for example this blog post okay and I edit the post if you scroll down this the future image here this is how where you have to make sure that you input all the posts that have the same size so that at the end when the plugin will go and 
fetch all the images for those posts that they will make sure you will make sure that it looks like this very well organized for all your posts and one service that I'm using for that is called spark Adobe if you go on my home page and you go under like project you will realize that a lot of my posts like here for example this one this one I customize them with spark Adobe okay for some of my posts most of my posts I will customize them the 10 must read business article how to make money on TikTok most of my posts are custom so that they have the same size they look beautiful they have the same theme don't just go download uh, images on pixabay.com or pixel.com and put them on your website as thumbnail make sure that you create something customized so that it looks actually beautiful just like you see here there are so many things that you can do with this when you create your layout again if you click on general there are so many things you can even add five star or you can add even like read more okay if I scroll if I get this for example read more on the five star or maybe like thumbnail five star blah 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 if I click on update at the bottom you see now you have read more okay yeah, read more and I think the reason why it's not clickable yet is because when you go on the layout you also have to probably come here and the read more link to it has to be linked to the post always make sure that you open the thing here and actually change whatever needs to be changed okay you can change read more for example with learn more it will be the same thing now it has changed from read more to learn more and it's now clickable there are so many things that you can do you can even add the share button okay or the comment count and the thing is this short code the short code that I showed you you can copy that and paste that anywhere on your website it doesn't have to be the home page you can be at the bottom of another page or another post or wherever you want on your website this will display the post grade the way you actually decided that it was going to be displayed so this is a game changer for your blog for those who don't know about it I wanted to um, share that with you I hope that was helpful there are links down below links down below to resources that can help you again you can check out my website dmsexperience.com I do a lot of reviews of tools like Ezoic that allow you to monetize your website I do of a review of tools like SEO Content Machine, uh, Article Forge, Connect Explore for Facebook ads. On the channel, I cover a lot of videos for free uh, for review of online business tool to serve you. My goal is to serve you, is to share the knowledge. If you think that was helpful, please smash the like button, subscribe. Until next time, take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.